So in this video, we're going to talk about the idea of ozonolysis of, of alkenes. In other words, we actually call it oxidative, oxidative cleavages of alkenes. So the idea is that if I take, let's use this as an example. So if I take a regular alkene and I add two reagents, in the first step, I add O3, and the second step, I add DMS. You must remember these react, uh, reagents in organic chemistry. The idea is that I'm going to form a carbonyl, but the only thing I'm doing is just cleaving the double bond. So that's why we call it oxidative cleavage. So when I cleave the double bond on either side of the double bond, I am just responsible for replacing it with a double bonded oxygen or carbonyl. So if we don't change anything in the reactant, but just replace on either side of the, 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 the stripes with an oxygen, then this is what we actually get. There's my methyl group, there's my hydrogen, and there's my double bond. And I actually get the same thing on the opposite side. There's my methyl group, there's my hydrogen, and there's my double bond. So notice in this case, we actually got two aldehydes, right? So don't complicate this reaction is pretty simple again cleave the double bond on either side you just put you just attach an oxygen right we're forming a carbonyl right so if that is the case what will be the product of this reaction i put this in o3 and i use dms in the second step well, because it, a ring, because it is a ring, we actually do not completely take away the structure. So the ring is still going to be connected. But again, use the same strategy that we've been talking about. So if I cleave the double bond, the only thing I'm responsible for doing is just attaching an oxygen on either, on, on, on either side. Right? So then the product for this reaction would look something like this. Maybe I need to elongate this. Right, so there's my double bond, there's my oxygen. Remember, I have a hydrogen here. I did not explicitly write it, but there's my hydrogen. And I also have a double bonded oxygen, but now this is a methyl group, right? So in other words, we actually got a ketone and a aldehyde in this reaction. Right. Again, we can label the carbons to make it much more easy to see what's going on. Right. So we could label this as uh, carbon one, two, three, four, five, six. And we can see that this is one, two, three, four, five. And then six, we have the hydrogen and the carbonyl. Right. So that is the whole gist behind. Uh, oxidative cleavages of alkenes. Let's look at another one. Can you predict the products of this reaction? Pause the video and try to do this one. In DMS. Again, the strategy doesn't change. I'm going to cleave the double bond, and then on either side, I'm going to attach an oxygen. Now, remember, we're not cleaving in a ring, so we should expect two, two, two separate structures. And so in this case, what we're actually going to get is cyclohexanone plus acetone. And this is the gist behind oxidative cleavage of alkenes.